Hello there, this is Infinity, and we are going to be getting into the Earth signs for the Leo full moon on the 28th. Uh, that's only a couple days away. It is January 25th, 2020. I did the fire signs on the 20th earlier today. I did the water signs, and now we are going to get into the earth signs. Please be sure, though, to watch that first video of the fire signs because for the first half hour, it's an energy update and an explanation about this reading that we're splitting up into the four elements. Um, so first we did fire, then I just did water. Now we're doing earth and next one's gonna be air. And it's all like four wheels of what's going on with this full moon. It's really, really intense energy and there's a lot happening. So each of the elements and the signs within the elements are kind of splitting up uh, kind of a, a theme of what's happening. And because this is the first full moon of the year, this is really setting us up for what's to come. So not necessarily what's happening just with this full moon, but it's what we're setting up with this full moon as well um, in the days to come. And then just a couple days after the full moon, we have the February Stargate starting on the second, going for 10 days, having our landing day be our our 11th day. So this will definitely uh, comprise of that and information regarding this whole this whole time period. So again, please watch that first video in full if you can. If you can watch that first video um, completely, especially if you if you if you have a um, a fire sign as your your moon. Um, so this can be, and you can look at this as any combination of, you know, what resonates with you as far as your, your sun or your moon signs and uh, what reading is, may resonate with you more for this full moon in Leo. It is a fire sign. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I'm going to put these back because... I'm going to put these back too, and I'm going to clear these cards again because I just saw four of the same cards. I'm not going to tell you which ones yet. I'm going to clear. I'm just going to clear these cards again. I just, we can't have the same, same cards again. Um, and if they, if they pop again, then they pop again. Um, but I, I'm, I'm feeling like, oh, it's not start fire. <laughs> I'm feeling like we should start this over again. I'm going to clear these cards with some sage. But anyhow, if you can, please um, watch that those other videos, whatever you're guided to. So don't just look at the at the sun sign. Look at the fire sign, and um, I'm sorry. Look at the the moon sign as well for yourself and what, what's going on there because there very there could be that cross-pollination of information for you. Uh, but it's really a good idea and I know it's a lot of time, but uh, if you can get the information from all four of these videos, that would be even better because then you would have the information what's going on throughout the collective because each one has its own theme of what's going on. So that's important to, to understand and recognize, not just for yourself, but for the other people in your life. Alrighty, starting. <laughs> there we go. Okay, first card. We have the uh, Seven of Cups with our sun and our moon represented here, seven of cups. So right off the bat here, we're looking at Hmm, this is interesting. 
Right off the bat though, I'm feeling this another transitional thing happening, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. So we have that seven of cups. Um, okay. Again, earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. These are the signs that we're working on. Oh, working with here today. Two of swords, two of swords. So I'm really feeling some focused energy coming up here. Um, that's interesting. And that first card with that seven of cups, it's we have the moon and the sun separately. And then in that two of, that two of, of swords, uh, we have them combined because that always looks like an eclipse to me. So, um, but that's just the first things that I'm seeing here. Something that's standing out as far as symbolism. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so we have, oh, interesting. Another two, two of wands. right next to the two of swords. Look at this, very interesting. And <clears throat> then we have the tower. Now the tower just came up in, uh, for the water sign. So here it is coming up again for the earth signs. The tower card, very interesting. Um, so told to keep going here. Oh, that was an interesting one. Next up, the hangman. The hanged man. There we go. Card number 12, the hanged man. I love this card. That bat. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm just going to stay right here. Hangman after the tower. This is all very interesting. So, tell you the truth, there's so many different images and things coming to me with these cards. I don't even want to try yet. Card, is that one card? Card number seven. Seven of Pentacles. Still don't want to touch it gonna wait until I get more here. Daughter of Swords. Daughter of Swords, right after the Seven of Pentacles. So interesting, these cards. Really, really interesting. Let's see. <laughs> there's a whole lot of them. This one, Three of Cups. I love this card. Isn't this a great card? I love this card. Three of Cups, it always makes me so happy. <laughs> Three of Cups after the Daughter of Swords. Well, three cards, two cards here. Let's see what this is. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. After the Three of Cups. And then we have the Hermit. is here. Get that. Whoop. Can't see that. The tortoise trying to get you to see his face, but there we go. He's so cute. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, this is really interesting with the, with these earth signs, you guys. We have the death card after the hermit. So, so far we have the tower, the hanged man, the hermit, the death card. The death card is directly on top of our, or sorry, the death card is right below the tower. My dear beloved earth signs. Earth signs, your be, oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. The devil. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Capricorns, really feeling Capricorns here with this devil, wonder why. But seriously, though, the devil, right? You guys got to see this. Check this out. The devil, right under the hangman, the tower right above the death card. Look at what we have so far here. Just a lot happening. But it's it's all gonna make it's all gonna come together here in a second. I assure you. Next card, ten, and this one is in reverse. Ten of sword. Uh, sorry, ten of. Is this wands or swords? Uh, wands. Ten of wands, in reverse right after the devil. All right, and last but not least, the six of cups. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love this, okay. So let me show you one more time that we have all of our cards here. There we go. So immediately when I saw this, I thought of this, but way more organized. And even though this is the seven that's supposed to come, you know, after the six, that's beside the point. <laughs> um, so let's get into it, shall we? Let's get into it. Okay. So, uh, let me just because it's like touched it super bright. Okay, so so I'm going to tell you right from the start. What this is about is is ascension, is separating the the person, the personality, the ego, the who you are in this lifetime with your higher self and your soul and your soul purpose and your soul mission, because we have this kind of as above, so below thing going on here. Um, and right here in the center, we have this upside down cup. It's the only one that's upside down and it's in between the sun and the moon. And so, when I first saw this immediately was like, what is this about? This It's another transitional card, but, it, but differently than 
with the water signs, with the water signs, it was about literally physical movement, moving, changing jobs, changing locations, changing sets of friends or what you do with your time and all that good stuff. This is more about the inside and the inner and or the lower and the upper, the the two the two seemingly uh you know when you're this card came out first so representing your inner and your outer worlds your upper and your lower your shadow and your light your who you are as, as a person personality um that persona and then versus the so the the persona here <laughs> this is hard to do the persona being here and then the soul aspect or the ascended the ascending being here and so here it shows you there's that kind of center knowledge in, in the in the in the middle and but it's not going anywhere it's just really kind of stuck there and ready to move versus we have our two of wands here and and see the whole energy is different the whole energy of these two cards even though one it one is two of swords what we've got here and then the two of, of wands with all the colors of the chakras um and really opening up to awareness uh that two can also look like an 11 and here we can put these two twos together and make ourselves with those one 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 ones and make ourselves an 11 11. so i guess you could say the real theme for this reading right off the bat is um uh spiritual in nature but in a different way than with the fire signs with the fire signs it was yeah with the fire signs it was a different type of of spiritual work it was really working on balancing out a very particular aspect of the divine masculine and um and balancing out the divine masculine divine feminine um and again just please watch that because i can't be kind of going back and forth and thinking about that but um but it is they're both spiritual in nature they're both energetic in nature this however has to do with when a person when a person is at that well there's a few of those junctures but there's there's yeah there's a few of the junctures where it's like okay i really feel myself needing to ascend, needing to move forward, needing to level up. Something is happening here. There's a change. There's a change taking place within the person where it goes from, okay, I guess I'll learn more about myself, my soul, my soul purpose, um, my abilities, possibly what it means to be an empath or a light worker. But that's not today. Like I'm busy with some other stuff today. Um, and that can kind of go on until there's a catalyst for change. And a lot of times this is energetic. It can be a full moon. It can be an eclipse or a solstice or an equinox or, or an eclipse, that sort of thing. And this is just kind of showing me there's been several of these instances so far, several. So it may seem kind of, sudden but it hasn't been this has been something that's been in the works for a while um and it's just a new level of really opening up the gates and letting more in and then 
will have, there is going to be, now the tower usually represents deconstruction, reconstruction, uh, reformations and stuff like that. Also new beginnings, that sort of thing. Here I'm really seeing the tower as um, more, definitely more spiritual as in breaking down the things that you thought were fact and truth and about you and about creation, about how things worked. And then really Ha taking some time to take that in. So you'll be my earth signs being the grounded ones that you are the ones that that are that work so hard that are so grounded that work in a work through logic and structure and also really are into the finer things in life and 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 that sort of thing. Um, after this period with the tower, after this hits, there is going to be this period of the, of the hanged man. And this is just showing me what this is what this is representing to me right now with it and this reading is about receiving downloads and really meditating a lot and just going you know what i'm getting that when i meditate when i ground more with gaia um and i allow myself to, to have those incoming downloads like what the this is representing and literally popping off the top of this tree is really showing me like we're going to be working up in the third eye and the crown chakra to really get stuff going this year. So you may have already even this just the first month into January into 2021, you may have already had big epiphanies or big revelations or done really big made really big steps when it comes to your spirituality and your overall health and things like that um and and this this next card this is so great i love this so much this next card here are seven of pentacles really representing this upward climb and it's very, it's all, with these pentacles, it's, it's very, it's saying you're on the right track and it's, and it's all divinely guided and abundant and you're just going to keep going up, up, up. And so there's with each, with each level of understanding, with each level of new research or meditations or articles or books or whatever it is that's going to spark your fire to in this in this period of of downloads meditation receiving you're going to be just further guided in that direction uh that upwards ascension direction and what's really cool here is between that seven of pentacles so between our seven of pentacles we have this daughter of swords and that hanged man so if you see here um this very different energies here between the hanged man okay and what he's kind of showing and representing, I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here, but I'm really paying attention, but I'm stationary. I'm not going anywhere versus, oh, I've gotten some downloads. I see some stuff. I get some stuff. I understand what's going on here. And you know what? Um, now I'm in, bef before I'm not, I'm not going to fly from this position 
here I'm ready to fly in the direction that I'm guided. Where am I being guided to now? Okay. Where, where am I being guided? What is my soul telling me? What are my guides telling me? What's coming next? Here's that three of cups. Three of Cups is really telling me that, well, a couple things here. Number one, there is this, this balancing of energy. Um, filling up your vessel, earth sign, with water balance. Interesting. The, the physical, the spiritual, and the emotional, mental bodies, those three cups, and, and the, the guides that are going to help you to balance out these three cups. It's a really interesting vision I just got. It was like, hold it's like balancing two two cups on your palms and then like one on the top of your head and just taking it in interesting next card 10 or sorry nine of or no 10 yeah <laughs> i can read and count 10 of pentacles got confused with the different card at 10, <clears throat> excuse me, 10 of pentacles. Okay. Okay, so this, I know it doesn't look like a full moon, but this is what I'm getting with this. Imagine this as your full moon. And This full moon energy is going to be bringing a lot in for our, our earth signs. This full moon, this Leo full moon, as well as the next, the, the next stargate that's right behind it. And the same thing for the next, you know, almost all year with these full moons, um, earth signs. We're going to be getting big time downloads earth signs for out from Akashic records, full moon, Akashic records, downloads, in regards to past lives. So remember I said that this, this is also transition, transitional in nature. Well, it's always all transitional, isn't it? I mean, that's true. That's kind of a blanket statement there when it comes to what we're doing with full moons or new moons or stargates or any of that stuff. Um, so yeah, I guess that is true. But how we're transitioning in nature with on a spiritual level here. So earth signs, it's really interesting that you're the ones who this is going to be more of a thing with. 
what are your um what are those nuggets of wisdom that you can bring down that's going to start coming down, coming down, right? Um, that's going to help you in this lifetime. That is a past life or co-current life, however, which way you, you roll there or understand stuff. So again, that meditative state with these downloads coming in at first, you may not even, you know, have that understanding of from what's going on with, with these downloads. It's just go into meditation um, and, and be in that space and You're just being, you're being asked to be very diligent and cognizant through your, your full moons, especially because that's where all the light is coming in, shining through our moon. So, <clears throat> so your full moons are going to be, uh, when it comes to the, to the balance and the heaviness of incoming, um, information, frequency, light codes, and all that good stuff. It's definitely going to be with your, um, with your full moon and it's a lot of that is <clears throat> is going to be about um past lives akashic records tuning you you in and connecting you to um, more or deeper with your guides and guardians i should say um and Again, right next to that death card, we have the devil. But let's take a look at our devil. Again, there he is with, why aren't you focusing? Okay, whatever. You guys can see it. Um, there. This is also about really getting in touch earth signs with guess who? Our beautiful mother earth with Gaia. You see the, the, the devil here with those, um, with the fire on his, on his hooves there. And <laughs> as I'm seeing that, what, what I'm getting is energy coming up from Gaia to help you with that energy that's coming down. So connecting with her, super duper important. Super, super duper duper important. She's showing me this, this could be what you deal with, <laughs> which is a lot going on and a lot to sort out and it can be confusing and overwhelming because a lot will be coming in earth signs you guys are definitely the sign that's dealing with more of the incoming um with just understanding of self and your and soul and connections and guides and and what needs to be worked on and healed and and all of that sort of stuff so she says if you work really hard to stay and maintain balance here with what's incoming connecting with her who better to do this than than our beautiful earth signs can deeply connect and work with Gaia so she wants you to go deep and work with her and guys especially for you earth signs that have worked with me personally in the past 
with my my healing program or even before it was ever called a program um, or ever a program you earth signs definitely have um, a better bigger and stronger capacity to work with gaia and ground with her as you know with the work that you've already done with her her connecting to you and and really grounding with you so if you're of that group definitely um the full moon would be a great time to listen to your to your first phase one recording working with gaia again if you are somebody who has already worked with me now if you're not and you're and you're interested in that then please go ahead and read all about that no matter what sign you are but just here especially for you, for your earth signs this is just really really so freaking cool i love this so much you're just you're being you're being asked to just let this open up the you the human and the you the soul to come together at this point remember 11 11 got our 11 11 here and what that represents what that means look up 11 11 it's a code for ascension the pillars of creation being a pillar of creation we have the tower right next so we have these the, the symbols, these these ones, the, there's so much of that. So it's integration, integration. Remember the hangman with just taking it in, introspection, meditation. I'm seeing meditate, meditate, meditate. Please, please, please. Um, we talked about it with the water signs and it being a really big deal to cut cords, move on, leave the past and leave people of the past um or that should be in the past uh but that's definitely relevant for every sign all of the elements if if there are people that you're still energetically connected to um please consider doing cord cutting and information for that is also in the description on my website i have a guided meditation plus a an ebook for that so just please partake of that as much as you can um, it's a lot of work it's very physical and mental and emotional and spiritual um, and you feel it physically for a couple of days after but you're bringing in energy so much needed life force energy back to you um, so please look into all of that i could really talk about court kidding a lot because it's such a big deal okay you guys let's get some clarification here on our reading what we got so far let's get some clarification on that hermit I keep looking at mr. hermit oh I'm sorry not hermit hangman hangman although we have the hermit and the hangman this fairy telling fairy telling plus the devil plus the death card plus the tower <sighs> guys so much incoming so much to process keeping yourselves clear keeping yourselves grounded using crystals essential oils if you have a bathtub please use it a lot meditate in there um i know i'm a broken record with that but it's that important Okay, so oh. Queen of Fire, Queen of Fire with this hanged man. Well, wow, look at that. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Well, isn't that interesting? getting this hanged man with this queen of fire spread your wings and fly but what is he doing no he's not going to spread his wings and fly at least not physically but in astral in meditation because that's what he's all about in this reading he's representing meditation 
he's representing getting into it with your guides and your guardians. So queen of fire is coming in with this beautiful energy, this amazing energy and that gorgeous dragon. Take a look. Actually a couple of them. And she's saying, I can travel just by sitting here. Look at me. Look at me. Do I have to go anywhere physically to travel? No. Do I need to crack open a book to get information? No. All I have to do is be here and be present and there's magic all around me. And so this is really driving home the spread your wings energy, not being physical, being astral, being meditative. And if you've been with me in my meditations, you know, they're very dynamic. We're moving, we're traveling, we're doing stuff. Um, and so it's like that. And when you do that, remember the very next card, up, 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 up getting to this. Remember, spread your wings and fly. What did I say? She's ready to go. She's like, all right, I'm getting information and I'm going to go. She's not moving yet, but she's ready. She's ready to fly and not fly alone. Remember, not fly alone. Guides, guardians, people in the flesh coming in to help as well as balancing out the energies with the, these cups, earth sign. Earth signs. So moving on, let's clarify and get information for a little bit more information for for that death card. I'm feeling the death card, you guys. Okay, let's see what we got. Death card right between the hermit and the devil. The four of fire. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. The four of fire. Contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, a, the successful completion of a project. So look at this with the death card. So what does it, what does the death card typically represent? Endings, beginnings, um, and a new perspective for sure. This is talking about um, the comp a successful completion of a project. So really an alignment here and look at all of that energy, like things in alignment, all that energy with that beautiful dragon right there. It's kind of hard to see I'm trying to slide down and see if that helps. dragon maybe there you go hopefully you can see that it's light and he's right there in the center but um he is there <laughs> he is there and um Yeah, more about working stuff out about what it means to be an incarnate, what it means to be connected, how you're going to move forward, um, all of that stuff, because there's just still a lot that's being formed and shaped um, with everybody right now. And this period is going to be so fruitful and successful for you in 
stabilizing the the questions of what is it? What am I? Where am I going? What's happening? What, where do I belong? What is really my purpose? What am I connected to? What's real? What is creation? What's energy? What, you know, all of those questions. And a lot of them have been answered to a certain degree. Um, I'm seeing, but there's still been resistance to stuff. You earth signs can be so stuck in the, um, the realness of life that those things that cannot be seen are harder to penetrate into your world and solidify because they're not solid. <laughs> they're not solid. So when they're not solid, it's that much harder for, for those earth signs, especially to accept, to acknowledge, to integrate. Um, even if you're super spiritual, there is that resistance. It's just a thing. <laughs> it's the thing that the earth signs are, are to deal with is resistance. Whereas let's say the water signs are a lot easier to go to those places be between the veil or, or on the other side of the veil to get those psychic downloads. Um, if you watch that water sign, it was a lot about psychic awareness and, and really leveling up in that regard. With the earth signs, it's about still that psychic awareness through connection with your guides and meditation and all of that. But it's more about putting the puzzle together about what it means to be an incarnate, what it means to be a light worker. What are really those abilities? What is your station in life? Like those really kind of bigger questions that that let's face it, as earth signs, as those hard workers, those grounded people, those people that are really stationed in logic and show me facts and um, all of that, um, like really, they really are the anchors for let's, let's stay grounded in reality. Let's not, you know, get too far here with with things that, you know, especially that are in fantasy or spirituality or metaphysics and things like that. Um, they may dabble, dance a little bit, or go from not being into it at all to boom, this is me now. And I'm still like, what is happening? Because I've never been into this stuff before. I'm seeing that also for a lot of people. And that's why there's this progression here with just letting you know we're starting here at night with this moon so we're not expecting a whole lot of of transition right off the bat and movement right off the bat and figuring stuff off right off the bat there there is stuff that needs to be sorted out and we're doing it in at a pace that's going to 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 push you but you're setting, things are set up for you in such a way to progress here that it's all about choices in, in wh where you want to, where you want to go here and how literally difficult you want it, you want it to be. Hopefully with the earth signs being the practical, pragmatic, hard workers, grounded people that you are, you would be like, I don't want it to be hard at all. I want it to be easy peasy. How do I do that? Well, we're telling you people, got to meditate, got to connect, got to go within, got to separate yourself from the things that are that are too materialistic, too much into entertainment, too much into outward um, stimuli versus the in inward stimuli. Remember that queen, that queen of fire 
that Queen of Wands, she's she's saying, I can be right here and still it's so super magical. And and that that's a big that's a big point. Um want to get a qualifier on that six of cups so let's see what we get here or six of cups and then we'll get into our our angels of abundance and archangel oracle two of water another two so we have two, two of, wow, that's wow, 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 wow. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> two of swords, two of wands, and now we have two of cups or two of water with the six of cups. She's saying work with her, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the possible positive resolution of a conflict. So here we go. Remember what we said about this six of cups. This is really representing you and your connection with Gaia and how, and how robust and how beautiful that can be, this relationship with her, working with her. And then we get the two of water. <laughs> My, my beautiful, beautiful earth signs. We get the two of water to, to amplify and qualify this uh, six of cups. It's connecting with Gaia business with this two of cups. So really, um, again, what I said about choices, you have these choices, you have this at your disposal, but you're going to have to you're going to have to do this a little bit. You're going to have to definitely do this a little bit. And really, um, decide to leave who you were behind and, and step into that the new role of who you are with this with i mean these horns to me this is just like look at how connected he is let's forget that he's supposed to be the devil don't let that distract you because this this is representing you you earth signs and just this these horns being so very big so you can connect and look at he's healthy He's connected with this pinnacle here at his third eye. He's got this, he's got the fire under his feet. Um, so really just deciding to, to leave the, the, the old behind, leave this old behind. Um, not that there was anything in lack there. It just wasn't the whole. So getting into the whole means opening yourself up for the incoming and allowing for that and, and doing your part to keep yourself light and away from this energy. Remember, it's in reverse. So it's completely up to you to keep it in reverse and to slide right through here um, and not not allow yourself to get heavy and tired and weighed down with the incoming energies because that can definitely happen. So do yourself a favor, spend time every single day, especially now through this full moon, um, to connect with the body, connect with Gaia, connect with your guides and, and feel yourself processing through this, this energy and, and connecting with Gaia just like this, 
you're the tree and those are your roots and that's how you're connecting with Gaia and just see yourself doing this and letting her help you with those energies. Um, okay. Let's give us one last look here. So we've got the, the queen of fire, the queen of fire here with that hanged man. And uh, the death card with this four of fire. So it's telling you, I know it's scary to leave the old behind, to kind of have a, a spiritual death, if you will, a pers or a, a death of the persona of what you kind of built yourself up to be. Because remember, it's about, it's about changing this energy, changing this energy to this energy. And let's not forget at the very end, we have the two of water, two more, three twos, really talking about the human aspect and the soul aspect coming together. Divine union, true divine union, you guys. True divine union is not a romantic partnership. True divine union is about you with your soul. And that's what this is about. This is about you and your soul and getting you into alignment with what you're here to do and really get you on track, really get you on track. Because no matter what you're doing right now, it feels like it's definitely not it. It's in the meantime, it's what you're doing right now. It could be paying the bills. You might even really like it. It could be cool, but it's not all of it. It's not the thing. You're in transition and you're moving and, and things are shifting and changing and you're going to realize so much more about yourself because that's the road. Remember this transition, that's the road is, is this new, let's pop off the top and literally go in and, and come out different and the various ways that that can manifest and go down and the different help that we have with incoming energies of um with full new new moons eclipses um and all that good stuff so there's that very very good i'm super excited about that we're going to get into our oracle we're gonna do the angels of abundance first and then the archangel oracle. Okay. This is like, what is happening? Okay. <laughs> Something's off here, but I'm not quite sure what it is. So there we go. Okay. So angels of abundance give us messages for our um, earth signs have courage to ask for and accept help. Oh yes, this is really important for the earth signs. Well, for any light walk, any light worker, it's definitely hard to ask for help and accept help, but I think this is really speaking to um, seeking spiritual guidance and seeking those who can help you, um, whether that's personally or through YouTube videos or reading articles or whatever, um, finding those who can help you or finding a group you know, or just, just having that go on. So this says, asking for help is a sign of strength. 
as is accepting it as it is offered to you very often when you ask god for help prayers are answered through other people be sure to accept assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided most definitely so evolution and growth of the spiritual absolutely comes with seeking help from others there's no way it can be done alone and this is really saying look with all the rest that we have here and all these messages that came for you help of outside sources people not just your guides and guardians but people are essential to what you have going on and what's coming for coming in for you you're definitely going to need to talk to people to have at least a person or a group of people that can um, understand what you're what you're talking about and and can help you with what you're what you're dealing with at any time. Um, it's really important. So if you don't have that in your life right now, decide that you that you are going to manifest it my dear earth signs you're going to manifest people to help you in whatever ways that that needs to happen okay so there's that oh and there's our next card what is it take a divinely guided chance oh i love this now i just turn that up now i'm going to turn it down again take a divinely guided chance this is great. This is perfect. Um, because uh, of what we're talking about here, this is about taking chances, not something necessarily earth signs are really up, whoops, are really up for. Um, because They like to have all the directions before they move. So take a divinely guided chance. It's like, well, where's my proof that I should be taking this divinely guided chance? Um, <laughs> but here we go. Take a divinely guided chance or sign. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you're ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. Remember, this is all about following divine guidance to new territories. The tower, the hanged man, that daughter of, of swords, the hermit, the death card, and the devil is all about new territories and being divinely guided into those new territories. Perfect. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, remember this, is comfortable and familiar until it's just not anymore and you're saying look i'm not flowing i'm stuck there's something that needs to come down but it's just not happening so i'm not comfortable and familiar um, with the familiar familiar anymore um as you leave behind which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities a new and more meaningful life let's face it and we can't move forward into a new paradigm with all the same old stuff and the same old programming and the same old thinking so this is really very much about shifting the programming shifting deleting the programming um, I think that is really telling here with these cards. So let's pretend that that ball of fire is the program and we're deleting the program. Okay, very simple. Um, and we're going to get into the Archangel Oracle and then we'll be done with our earth signs. This was a beautiful reading. I am so into it. Oh. <laughs> 
Indigo and Crystal Children, we got the same card for the water signs with Archangel Metatron. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. So, okay, really feeling, it's really more like not, it's kind of a, a twofer here. Metatron really coming in to say, please, if you will, if you're so guided to work with me to help you in this transition, um, to help you bring things and to loosen stuff up for you on that spiritual side to bring, to really meld this um, human aspect with the soul and, and let that come into the same space. He's great for that. Of course, definitely what it says um, in itself about working with children and being attached to children and sharing spirituality with children um, is, a, is a really big deal. Also working with sacred geometry. If you haven't yet been guided to either have pieces of sacred geometry in your home or draw pieces of sacred geometry like Metatron's cube or the flower of life. Those would be, that would be something really great to do because it will help you with your spiritual connections um, and really deciding to tap back in to, to the child who had that very thin veil, who wasn't so grounded, who did work with spirit and and communicate with spirit and felt the the fae or the angels or or just nature and can talk you know talking to animals and those really deep connections that we have a lot more of when we're children until we start to cultivate it again of course but that being such a big deal so there's that first card Archangel Metatron really asking to, to work with, with you, earth signs to help you recognize and come into who you are. Okay. And career transition with Shamuel. Uh, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So I think this is, so that could definitely be it or just, um, busier with your, with the new career. That's also, I'm feeling that or the new changes that you've, that you will be implementing in ways that this is whatever this this is bringing in your life purpose. So let's stay with that. Your life purpose. Remember, that's really what this, this is about ultimately is getting, helping us all with our life purpose. And whatever that's, that trans, whatever those, that understanding is going to trigger in the future for what we do with our career with our work. Um, so career transition with Shamuel. And I'm hearing one more with this, with this Archangel Oracle. One more here. All of this very, very much, let me put all this back since a whole bunch of them fell. There we go. Last one, Archangel Gabriel with you guys. Creative writing. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book or do all of the above. Really, really, really. Um, during this time, during any time, it is good to document what is going on. And writing is a fantastic way to do that. So as we move forward with this transition from this to this and remember that the two being a real dominant energy here um 
So take that inner and bring it out and put it on paper or, or type it up. Really um, chart your progress, your, your life, write down what is happening, um, what has happened, what you're feeling as you're going through this. Because like I said, there's going to be big epiphanies, big revelations, big things being put all together for you um, to help you out with this. And sometimes it's so much, it's hard to keep track of it. So really writing this stuff down is definitely going to help you through this. Um, and also help others. So think about also whatever that your, your process is that you're dealing with, that you're going through to allow for um, that to, to come through and and those messages to be put out into the world, however that's meant to be. I know it says creative um, writing, but it could be what anything that is helping you deliver messages, helping you um, take from what's being channeled down and put it out there. Even, and some stuff is for the masses and to share and some stuff isn't. So, and you'll know the difference, but just getting things out of you and written and organized is super, super helpful and important as you go forward and sorting all this stuff out. Because again, Earth Signs, a lot is gonna be coming, a lot of information. Don't let it overwhelm you. You can always turn up and down the dial. I, I like to tell my clients, you know, if, if it's just too much coming at you and you feel really overwhelmed, just ask your guides and guardians to just chill out and turn it down for the rest of the day. No more number codes, no more synchronicities, no more, no more visions, no more things like that. You just want some downtime and, and they'll listen to you. They'll be like, okay. And then you'll just see everything will, will clear up. You don't, it doesn't have to be so overwhelming that you're, you know, laid out over it. And if you're feeling energetically heavy, again, it's all about connecting to your body working with Gaia, connecting with her and letting that energy flow and go and, and flow through you. Um, one of the things that we say a lot around here is I release and I receive. So seeing again, this tower, releasing and receiving. Don't let the fire and the energy scare you. <laughs> Releasing and receiving will definitely take you where you want to be, you guys. I promise you that. I promise you, promise you. Releasing and receiving will definitely take you there. And um, and telling yourself, I release and I receive. I release and I receive. Um, in or out of meditation, whatever. If you're upset for any reason, if you feel overwhelmed, slow things down for yourself and just let it flow. Um, all of this is serious business, but we have to be in peace. We have to let things flow. Don't push too hard. Don't resist. Again, earth signs tend to be resistant of the spiritual in different ways, not thinking about that kind of stuff or thinking it's for other people or just going so far. Um, I know that's a generalization, but um, it's really about transitioning and retraining your brain into a new way of seeing yourself and the world and creation as a whole and allowing for that to take place because, um, and it's really interesting because the, that the earth signs are being asked to do this because that's really going to ground this energy. When the earth signs can connect with their soul and the metaphysical and get really spiritual and start living in that third eye and crown chakra space and become the seers and the healers and the light workers they're meant to be, it makes all the other signs connect that much easier and better, truly, truly, truly. So it's, it's really understandable why this is the theme here. Again, it's similar, but the fire signs was a bit more specific about what they're doing, where the earth signs is just kind of across the board. So anyway, 
hope you've enjoyed this reading, you guys. Um, I've certainly enjoyed doing it for you and and connecting with our guides and guardians, yours, mine, and ours together. Uh, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave a comment. Let me know how this resonated for you. I'm really interested to, to hear about how you feel about this coming up. I think it's super exciting. Very, very interesting. Um, intelligent intelligence for some reason coming up because this is really going to work your faculties. So anyway, I hope you're, you guys are really into it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I love you all. Happy full moon coming up here in just a couple days. And a reminder, I will be putting out a guided astral meditation for the full moon, either right before the full moon or on the full moon, as soon as I'm guided to do it. And we've got one more video left to do for our air signs. I think I'm going to get to that tomorrow and I'll be uploading that. So look out for that, please. And again, share um, with your friends and family. You guys, mwah, thank you so much for being here. I love you, love you, love you. Bye for now.